Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to explain the Chinese dynastic cycle and ask whether it predicts the collapse of American society. Sounds like a fun video to do, so here goes. Historians and political scientists have noted there's a close link between the Chinese dynastic cycle and the rise and fall of empires in Western civilization. I'll read the first six or seven steps here briefly. Uh, one, a new ruler unites China, founds a new dynasty, and gains the mandate of heaven. Two, China under the new dynasty achieves prosperity. Three, the population increases. Four, corruption becomes rampant in the imperial court and the empire begins to enter decline and instability. Five, a natural disaster wipes out farmland. The disaster normally wouldn't have been a problem. However, together with corruption and overpopulation, it causes famine. Six, the famine causes the population to rebel and civil war ensues. And seven, the ruler loses the mandate of heaven. So let's see if this is true in America. Now, remember this applies to empires. So when did America become an empire? Well, that's easy. When it started practicing imperialism. Most students of American history would know that the imperial age began with Teddy Roosevelt. The next step in the cycle is that America would need to achieve prosperity. And it did exactly that. First by selling weapons to everyone in World War I and entering World War I boosting our economy to what's called the Roaring Twenties. There was a hiccup under the Great Depression, but then we soared to even greater prosperity after winning the Second World War. As a result, we got massive population increase from the Boomer generation, which is step three. Now we're in a time when corruption is rampant and American imperialism is in decline and instability. So far, it seems to very closely mimic the cycle. Under the dynastic cycle, the next step appears to be a natural disaster that will cause famine, and then civil war, and so on. God forbid another dust bowl could do it, or the new mattered fault causing an earthquake, or Yellowstone erupting, or any other number of natural disasters that could happen. Or just lack of common sense could cause a natural disaster, for all I know. Things like hydraulic fra fracturing leading to earthquakes. But I contend that in Western civilization, more often than not, empires are defeated through the destruction of their currency. <clears throat> this is ultimately why the natural disaster, or whatever occurs, is unmanageable. They end up, the government ends up not being able to afford it because the military becomes overextended and it's fighting so many wars that when disaster occurs, there's very little the government can do. I contend the collapse of the dollar could also count as a natural disaster, especially the American dollar because it's the reserve currency of the world. Economics follow natural laws and it darn sure would be a disaster. So, if this cycle is accurate, we can next expect some sort of disaster that leads to famine that the government can't control, which will then lead to civil war. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing. Thanks.